Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make some natural cordage out of plant fibres. Let's get into it. Right, so the first thing that we're going to need is plant fibres, natural plant fibres that we can spin, twist up with our fingers and make some nice cordage. So this is a really, really good environment. Got lots of wild grasses, loads of um, different species of nettles, all kinds of things that we can make for cordage. So let's get into it. So one of the best things to use as natural cordage is the common stinger nettle. So all of these fibres are really, really good. The stem, so you just strip the leaves off, take the stem, split it down into fibres, and then uh, you can soak it and let it dry and it's ready to use as cordage. So what you want to do is grab the nettle and push down like that, all the way down. removes all of the leaves and all of the stings and then you can split this down into fibres like this taking the outer pith off strip it down cut it up and then you need to soak it so we'll just get a few more of these So we've got a few more of these now, they'll be great. So there's tons here to take from, I'm not taking more than I need. And um, yeah, we'll be able to strip those fibres down, get them soaked, and then after that we'll leave them to dry, hang, hang dry, and then we can spin them into. Here's some mallow, really good edible, really nice tasting wild edible. Gorgeous in salads. Harvested those, those nettle stems. I'm going to process them up later because I need to soak them, dry them, split them up. I don't have a knife with me. I'm just getting the raw materials today and teaching you guys how to actually spin some, some natural fibres. So I've brought with me in true blue piece of fashion some palm grass or some palm leaves essentially from palm trees. Things that grow in uh, gardens all over the place. Things that are native to um, more tropic climates than the UK but they're really popular over here in people's gardens or in car parks and loads of different parks out there as well so the, the dead leaves are abundant i've collected some dried them all up i've already processed them into thin fibers as you can see here and we'll teach you guys how you can make a simple rope cordage so as i say guys i've just split these down this will make a really really strong cordage this particular palm is way stronger a material um, than the nettles are so this is really really super strength rope stuff so this is how it will start off It'll start off like this, really thick, almost woody, and then you can take each individual strand and get those fibres really, really thin as you can see. So you just pull them all apart as I've done with that bigger bundle and strip this back. So you just strip this back and as you can see it just reveals all these fibres and you can strip this down further and further and further. So because I've got the benefit of these already being pre-prepped, I'm just going to get straight into how you make the cordage. So the first step that you want to do is take two or more fibres of sort of equal lengths. I'm going to pull out a few here. So two or more fibres and you just want to wrap them around and twist them up like so until they start to bite on themselves and hook round. I'll bring you in for a closer look. So if you guys can see what I'm doing here, I'm just twisting and twisting and eventually, when you twist like that, it's gonna bite itself and form this loop. And then you take this loop with your non-dominant hand, hold it in place so that you've got a top tail and a bottom tail, and then you wrap this top tail twisting as you go and then you flip the bottom tail to then become the top tail and then the top one again twist and twist till it's tight and then flip it until it becomes the top tail twist bottom to top bottom to top 
bottom to top. So I'll just keep going with this. Top fibres, bottom fibres, twist them round. Make the bottom the top, keep twisting, bottom to top, turn it over, bottom to top, turn it over. And you'll start to actually get a bit of a pattern emerging of hand spun rope. two or three inches of that you'll then be able to start pulling on the end of it like so to keep it nice and tight as you're twisting the fibers and it will become really natural you'll know what to do when you reach that stage if you reach that stage so I'm just going to continue to make this And then when we get to the end of these fibres I'll show you how to add more fibres in because essentially it doesn't matter how long the fibres are that you start off with you can always add more in as you go and the length of cordage is limitless. So even if the fibres are only that long you just bend them in half and that's your top and that's your bottom and you can just add more and more in. You can add more thickness as well if you start to thin out. So if some of these fibres are at differing lengths what you can do, say if this one here is shorter than these ones here, you can then add a new bit of fibre into that particular strand but leave this one as is. So you can add thickness or length as you go through. And then just keep going to your desired length. But keep it really tight, keep it really consistent and then you'll start to see these rope patterns form, which is really cool. You can see there, it's really starting to make that sort of rope pattern. So this is my tail end, and this is my working end. So you're just twisting those fibres up till it bites tight, and then you flip it round like that, and your, your bottom fibres become your top fibres, and then you twist that. Always work with the top. And then... As I say, once you've got quite a bit of length, you can start to pull it out, swap hands, keep it nice and tight as you're working it, like that. And you just go until you reach the desired length. So I'll keep going now until I run out of fibres and I'll show you how to make it longer when you've actually run out in your hand. So I've come to the sort of natural finish where I'm really running out of fibres. So see this, is, this one here is my shortest fibre. I need to add some more thickness and some more length. This one, this side, this bottom side isn't too bad, but this top one is getting really sparse. So what I do is I grab another fibre. So here's my new fibre that I want to add in, in terms of length. So what I tend to do is put it there in the middle and fold it in half almost, so it joins that side and that side. If you want it to favour one side over the other in terms of length, doesn't matter if they're at different different lengths so as I said this bottom part had more fibers to begin with this top part was sparse so I want to favor this top part so as I add this new fiber in to the mix so here it is out here it is completely out I pop it in there and hold it with my thumbs but what I'm doing is I'm favoring this side so I'm just pulling it out lengthening that side and then you start to twist that top again and as soon as you tuck it under that ties that fibre in and then when you wrap the other side once you've done two of those it's well bedded in and it shouldn't come out then and then that fibre is then part of the pattern it's worth mentioning as well that when you are doing this I tend to favour clockwise but you twist whatever way the fibre is tightening and not loosening so for me that's away from me that way for other people depends on you know how they start and what hand they use etc but it might be the other way but for me working left to right here top to bottom I'm doing the twisting the physical twisting in that motion so away from me and clockwise 
and that's on both strands and they're tightening really well. Right, so when you've come to the desired length, I'm not going to make a huge a huge lot here but I've got a good six or eight maybe ten inches of cord here so when you've come to a stop and you've got these little fibers just simply tie it off in a knot and I'll show you that so just simply I like to just tie a simple knot like that simple knot like that and then you can trim these fibers off and you don't need to do anything about the other end because it's on itself like that and then, as you can see, it's quite neat, but there are a lot of um, untidy fibres. You can burn those off, or just cut them with scissors, and it will make really strong. Guys, I hope you've managed to learn something on that one. It was just a very quick tutorial on how to make cordage out of um, plant fibres, natural fibres. Loads of different things can be used for, uh, for, for cordage. Right guys, really quick video today, that's the end of the video. Hope that you liked it. If you have, give it a little like below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you again on the next one.